I wonder if you suffer the same as I do when starting work on a new bow. You see, when I start a new bow, I'm weighed down by a kind of anxiety. I guess it's the fear of spoiling my only good piece of bow wood. It leads me to a sort of paralysis. And I sit there for ages and ages, just wondering what to do next. painful to watch isn't it but this is what it's like each time I make a bow how do you do it what are the dimensions where do you find them are there any for a bow like this I don't think there are so I just sit and puzzle it through If you're a beginner bowyer or a novice like me, you'll have realised that there is no such thing as a guidebook telling you how to make a self bow from a less than perfect piece of wood, like this. So if like me, you're working alone without the aid of an experienced bowyer, there really is only one way to go. And that is to let the wood show you what to do. And that's what I've done in this case. So I'm kind of making a flat bow of sorts, not really a long bow, with broad limbs tapering from about halfway along their length towards the tip. That's all I can do for now to see whether or not I can get this piece of elder to bend. Life is funny and sometimes strange It's a lot turns out the way you think but if you want some good advice, I can offer this small wink. You'll find that a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way for love. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. So lucky as to find someone with whom to spend your every day. That's in itself a journey, a lifetime of endless study. And you won't master it anyway. But know that a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. A long way. 
scheme and I say, I let the wood show me what to do. Well, just look at these two examples. This is elm and this is my piece of elder. Just look at the difference in these two belly woods. Here are the cross sections of the elm and the elder. So that's how this piece of elder helped me choose the design for this bow. But now there is only one thing to do. Get on with it. So that's a quick update on my elder stave. I've done quite a bit of work on it and it is now beginning to resemble a bow, albeit a rather bizarre looking one. The surface moisture is currently about 18% so it's still too wet to bend. But when the moisture drops to about 10% then it'll be ready. And the question at that moment will be, can I then make this elder stave Bend like a bow. I'll see you then. Looking out the window. They're absolutely fantastic. It's a common plant. So this. Now this eldest. <clears throat> this about twenty. <clears throat> Now this stem of elder was felled. Now this old. Now the whole <clears throat> from elder flowers made a bow from elder. And today I'm starting to ask. I'm starting to ask that from elder. <clears throat> so this is a stem of elder, Sambucus nigra. Look how clearly you can see. Look. 